All right, let's go ahead and use this heater. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is this little uh, perforation at the top of the bag. Just go ahead and tear the top off like this. And of course, your bag that you got all your crap out of, that's going to serve as your uh, garbage bag. So go ahead and start putting all your waste in there. Okay, now what you want to do, the instructions are right on it. I mean, it's, it's pretty cut and dry. But go ahead and take whatever you want heated which in this case I have the cheese omelet with vegetables you go ahead and take it out of the box like this and some of these MREs it helps to go ahead and knead it you know kind of squeeze it but this one let's go ahead and put it in here like so alright now I cheated I have a water hose over here but this is where you'd use your canteen water whatever the heck alright let me add you're gonna add water to this fill line right here. That's all you need. So let me go ahead and add the water real quick. Pretty cut and dry people, ain't really a whole lot to it. I'm just showing you the basics. As you add the water, it's going to start reacting, generating hydrogen gas. I believe it is hydrogen gas and heat as a byproduct. Okay? What you want to go ahead and do is take the box that you got your meal out of, fold this over on one side. This is the way I do it now. Fold it over on one side, like that. You can see the gas is already starting to come out. See it? Anyway, fold one corner over, go ahead and put it back in the bag, leaving the corner to vent just a little bit, like that. All right, and then just go ahead and lay it, angle it about like this. And you just let that heater work, and it'll get warm. So let me uh, allow this to heat up some, and we're going to get into this thing, see what it looks like. All right, we've got this thing heated up. So let's pop her open and see what it looks like. Now, what you can do if it's cold... You can save these heaters, and they'll uh, they'll actually stay pretty warm for a while. So you know you can stuff them down in your coat and crap like that, or under your sleeping bag, you know, and they stay warm for a pretty good, pretty good while. Sometimes uh, during training, we would just uh, pull the heaters right out of the MRE and use them to keep our feet warm. All right. Anyway, you'll see these little uh, preparations on the bag. You have to push whatever's in it down past the preparation or else you're going to get it all over the dang place, all over you. So what I do is, uh, you can either cut along the preparation or you can cut long ways. In fact, for this particular item, it would probably be more beneficial to uh, cut long ways. So you just take your uh, Leatherman and just cut across like that. All right, and like I said, these things are not very good at all. But you can see, it's basically just a a formed uh, just mush in there. It's egg, a little bit of vegetables. Let's take a bite. I mean, I know what the heck they taste like. I hate the damn things, but if it comes to living or dying, let's see. Yep, just as gross as I remember. Well, anyway, there it is. MREs are a good option. You know, if you got the money to buy them. Otherwise, just stock up on cans of Spam, ramen noodles. Make sure you're buying cases of water and rotating it out. And you should be okay. I'm going to go vomit now. We're going to move on to the second video.